Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? And welcome back tonight, you guys. This is your boy Top Dot back with another game cast. This is a R. Kelly DJ Academics rant slash why I'm tired of hearing about him. All right, first starting with DJ Academics. Um, besides him being a drama starter and all that good stuff, um, he really doesn't bring nothing to the culture, just like everybody been saying, you know. I'm repeating the rhetoric of a few, but he don't really bring nothing to the culture. Um, on top of that, he drama filled. Now, you know, he went from covering 6 9 to halfway kind of dissing him to now dissing his baby mama, which is disrespectful and all, you know what I'm saying? Then going at his actual girlfriend or whatever, you know, which I think is kind of suspect because why are you beefing with another man's baby mama and his potential wife or girlfriend or whatever, and you supposed to be his man's in them, see? That's how these new cats is built. They built shaky, so you got that. Um, also, man... Some of, his, some of the stuff that he covers just don't be really valid. And me being from Chicago, but not from, you know, me being, that being my second home, you know, per se. Um, I don't like that, that Chirac series that he did. Uh, you still don't get no props for that. You still got an answer for that. We still need to know why you even made that and all that good stuff. So... That's that. Um, also, just in a nutshell, uh, the Everyday Struggle Show. Everybody know that was that's Joe. You know, that was him. Um, also, the Desca made it a little bit, but her journalism skills were subpar, and she was okay looking at most. You know what I mean? So she wasn't gonna hold no crowd with the super sex appeal. Um, then when they had the star, he kind of blew the show up, and then he seen where it was going off top. Though. Excuse the, the noise in the back. Um, yeah, he, off top, he seen that, so he was just like, yeah, I'm out of here too. You know what I mean? And plus, that's another reason why I, I don't mess with act like that, because he didn't already been exposed by star, who didn't show receipts on everything that he was talking about and already showed that, you know, Dude didn't know what he was talking about. Then on top of that, you got Act coming back with basically the white flag waving, saying, okay, yeah, you got me. You know what I'm saying? I was just kind of mad, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Move on to the next one. Um, with all that combined, that makes it just for uh, a toxic person. You know what I mean? I was I watched a Daylight interview. Shout out to Daylight. You know what I'm saying? The battle rapper. Watch one of his little interviews, or well, one of his lives he was doing. Cause I don't really watch people live, but I watch lives. If you, if you got something interesting to say, or you're an interesting person that I think is, you know, interesting, I'll go ahead and peep what you got to say. But he was talking about how he blocked all the major pages and everything, you know, for the last year and just was on nothing but positive vibes. The first time he said he tested the waters, he said he threw out like something like, yo, I'll kill everybody, I'll beat up your mama and all that he was saying. Um, that's just, that's not verbatim, that's per se. Um, he was like, all of that. And the first person he said that picked it up, he don't know how, because he got him blocked with DJ Academics. So what I'm saying is he, he go around here creating fake pages just to contest drama and all of that, bro. And to me, that's just sour booty, straight up. Just in the whole mixture of Kool-Aid, that's sour booty. You are inciting beefs and inciting stuff just to have something to talk about because you have no content, because you have nothing else to talk about because you're not that interesting. So you can't be mad at everybody else around you because they live in interesting lives and you just end up there sipping on Hennessy or whatever, you know? Get some business about yourself. Get you a little show. You got a little fame. You got, what, what two million-something people who subscribe to. You know, link up with some one of them cats and 
You know what I'm saying? Get y'all money strong. But it seemed like you don't want to do nothing like that because you don't seem like that type of person, you know? So if it's not in your DNA, what can you say? But that's my whole little spill with the act, you know what I'm saying? I don't really pay attention to him. I don't watch none of his videos. When I do, I, I, I basically, I have to have two sides of the story. So if somebody says something about the young dude, I got to at least go over there and see what he, how he defend himself in. Most of the time, he defend himself like somebody who has no evidence. So, that's how I put it, you know. Shout out to all the people who believe that he is a credible news source and he's a credible source of anything. He's not even a, a credible hip-hop person, period. And nothing else like that. No credible journalist. He's no credible anything like that. He's just dude that drink Hennessy and report on people and made that disrespect for last Chirac series. You know what I mean? So that's how I feel about DJ Academics, man. You know what I'm saying? He, whatever he is to his people, but I don't mess with the cat because I think he drama feel and he don't bring nothing to the table. He just basically like a little drunk gossip hound. So on to R. Kelly motherfucking ass. R. Kelly, man, once again, you, you was disappointing. As a kid, I looked up to R. Kelly. Uh, when I found out he was messing with Aaliyah, I kind of backed away from I did, you know, kind of let time in certain situations cloud my judgments. So I never bought, I don't buy albums like that, or I never used to buy albums except for the ones I really, really liked. And if I seen an album, if I got an album from somebody it was bootlegged or I went and downloaded every single song that I liked, like on the CD, personally myself so um i didn't have too much r kelly music rotating anyway to begin with so i'm not gonna have too much after this or if any i've not in none to be honest with y'all but um you could have told you could have seen from a million miles away that that dude right there was on something you know he i'm from around that way from where he from and I know people that know him personally so I knew about not knew about none of that stuff that he was doing like that but people knew about certain situations when ones that ain't even on the, the radar I'm talking about off the radar situations people knew about off the radar situations about dude and he has been on stuff like that he's been doing stuff like that he been doing it and the crazy thing about it is people making excuses for this dude. I'm not making that one excuse for him. I got a daughter, and she's 19 now, about to be 20. But that she has been the ages of some of them girls. Now, I will play level-minded with y'all. Some of them girls might be lying. Not all of them are lying. That's what makes the story messed up, because not all of them are lying. But some of them may have been knowing willingly what was going on and still was like hey i'm gonna do what i do to get what i get you know um they already got like two two of the girls two or three women already they then got uh his ex-wife erica who still got his last name for some crazy reason um i guess tonda whoever that chick was the big nose chick you know who is his baby mama some shit like that or I don't know who she is, but the one dude, the one that everybody say looked like KRS one, uh, that chick and the Sparkle chick, who is coming out with an album or a single, you know, ever since that show dropped, you know, they say people like that right there are, are exploiting, but the ones that are not exploiting, and the ones that will never be able to be heard because either they story getting drowned out by these or they just too low in the totem pole to even get to where they need to be um that's the that's the tragedy right there the ones that would never be known about and can only be told throughout the families and the personal scars that's been set in by mr kelly himself now nah, i'm up just to cover my behind if he didn't do none of this and everybody is lying on him this is my fault but that's not the case because he was married to Aaliyah at the age of 15. So 
his young girl obsession is is not far fetched at all. It is not made up. It is not concocted from molecule stories put together. No, this is hard concrete evidence that this dude has been doing this for a very very long time. And if somebody wouldn't stop him, he'd have kept on doing it. That's why they say everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. Everybody ain't lying about this man. Now he got his former manager. The, I don't know if it's the one with um, who has a warrant out for him, but I know it's somebody, one of his one of his people. They say the tour uh, tour manager or something like that is coming out and saying that R. Kelly tried to have sex with him, and he got receipts for it. So that's just a whirlwind of craziness. So me, I'm going to say this as far as all of it go. Don't let that distract y'all from the simple fact that the government is shut down and people out here is not getting paid. And the government is slowly but surely breaking down bit by bit every single day. And that shows a little bit of fragility and weakness on our part to other countries. Because now they're looking at us like the only thing we got to do is throw a monkey wrench in their media and everything could get tore up. No, we can't be like that. We got a strong, we got to protect everything that we got right now because it's falling apart because of you know who and you know what. So, R. Kelly doing all of this, he going to get what he get. DJ Academics and not even be thought about no more. But much success to both of them, them cats, you know, on, on the latter end. But... I don't mess with neither one of them. Um, I think it's abysmal what both of them doing. And just all in all, I'm tired of hearing about the R. Kelly this, uh, DJ Academics this, Takashi 6 9 this. Uh, there's other things going on in this world beside them three and three people, man. Just believe me, it's, it's many other people that need to be... Um, aired on out, you know what I'm saying? Me, you no. Know, I'm not I'm not the cleanest person on earth, but you know, I try to be the, I try to be honest. So with that being said, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to Gamecast, man. I will catch all of my nerdies next time on Gamecast. Get with me, y'all. Peace. Can you dig it? Can you dig it?